Newtown with me, Randy Claret. Tonight's headlines. Surprising reports are coming in of what appear to be early sightings of none other than old St. Nicholas himself, Father Christmas, in and around easily recognisable local Newtown landmarks. However, cautious eyewitnesses suggest that this festive figure's motives are currently uncharacteristically unclear. We cross now to our Christmas correspondent, Sandy Snodgrass, for more details. Sandy. Thank you. Yes, I'm in Newtown with local residents to try to unravel the mystery surrounding this suspicious sighting of what some people believe to be Father Christmas himself. The sightings centre around an elderly, rather large gentleman dressed in red and white trim, possibly with a big white bushy beard. Witnesses claim that a man appears to be inspecting the chimney on the roofs of iconic Newtown buildings. But these sightings are so fleeting that all of this remains unconfirmed at this time. With me now is retired housewife and part-time contortionist Margot McGilly Cuddy. Tell me, Margot, who did you see? Well, I was he on the roof? Yes, but dressed in red with a white trim. Could have. There it is. Astonishingly unimpeachable proof that none other than Santa Claus himself has been seen here in Newtown and all before Christmas. Simply sensational. Sensational is the word there, no doubt about it. But have you found anyone able to adequately corroborate Mrs. McGillicuddy's definitively detailed description? Without a shadow of a question, people have been coming up to me with their own versions of events. With me now are recent newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. George Couple. A couple who have recently returned from honeymoon in Wrexham. Tell me, George, what did you see when you got back? situation. I tell you what, Randy, this is going to put Newtown on the map tonight. And we can expect people from far and wide to come over to try to glimpse Santa for themselves. It certainly sounds like it. But with Christmas swiftly approaching, Sandy, do any of the children there have an opinion on all this Christmas craziness? Right again! And that's why I found an enthusiastically festive local schoolboy to tell us all about it. Who did you see? I saw a man who looked like Father Christmas. I know he looked like Father Christmas because he was all dressed in red and had big black boots on, like these. A child has seen Santa's welly boots. Conclusive and irrefutable proof that Santa might indeed be here in Newtown tonight, making preparations for the big day. In November? Yes, it seems so. What exactly he is doing is anyone's guess, but he's right to start early. I have endeavoured to encounter further witnesses to interview. Excuse me, madam. Have you seen, or think you may have seen, Father Christmas tonight? Who? Hey, me? Yes, you. Have you noticed suspicious activity on the roofs of Newtown's iconic buildings tonight? I don't really know. I think I'm the iron on. It is clear that nearly everybody is almost partially convinced that this is really happening tonight. Here is a woman carrying a child, possibly her daughter. 
Have you any concern about these sightings of a man dressed in red, prowling around a random series of local Newtown landmarks without approval from the town council? Not at all. I think it's wonderful. And I feel reassured that he's checking the chimneys for health and safety. And he might even be here for another reason. My daughter couldn't be more excited, could you? Who are you looking forward to seeing at new time next night? Who? Yeah. Wow, right, Father Christmas. Father Christmas. And it looks like he could even arrive any time now. I've been Sandy Snodgrass, now back to the studio. Wonderful. Reminds me of mistletoe and eggnog. Everything a news report should be compelling and rich. Well, that's all for the news in Newtown tonight. I've been Randy Clout. Oh, and if you do happen to see Father Christmas, don't forget to give him a great big cheer. in the workshop. So, it looks as if the reporter was right at all. Can you hear the elves working, children? Oh, you nasty elves. Yes. We are about to set off to come and see you. Hopefully it's driving. Finally. It could take a little while. So here is some entertainment, starting with the M.A. Day School.
to see if we're getting a signal through. Oh, anything yet, dear? Just a moment. I think I see something. Yes, there. There they are. Hello, children. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, boys and girls. And now then, I just thought you'd like to know that we're on our way to see you this evening, but we've picked a bit of a snag, haven't we, dear? Yes, we have. Somebody forgot to charge the sat -nav. Didn't they, Humphrey? Mm, we, 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 uh, never mind. Uh, so, we're just working out the route the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and we will see you very soon. It would be a great help if you could give a loud cheer to guide us to you this evening. So, let's have a quick practice. <laughs> Yes, let's all shout after three. This way, Santa. Ready? One, two, three! Ah, I, I think I heard them, although it was a little bit quiet. Perhaps they will get louder as we get nearer. Right. I can confirm that there are no chimneys found here. So, I shall cross that off the list for the big day. Oh, what a shame. Are those the northern lights up there? No, I don't think these are the northern lights, Humphrey. Although they are very, very pretty. So, it looks like we are still lost. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're too far away now, though, dear. <laughs> now, perhaps while Santa turns the map the right way round, you might like to see some seasonal entertainment. So, here are Newtown Silver Band.
to some fruit. Somewhere else without a proper chimney, the Santa begins. Oh, I seem to be getting used to that, don't I, Humphrey? Do you know, I'm sure this used to be nothing but a big, giant sculpture made of rusty steel. And now it's a beautiful new church. Oh, yes. It is very nice here. But it's not where all the children and mums and dads are tonight, is it? Well, I do enjoy going into church on Christmas Day after the exhausting job of delivering all those presents to the children on Christmas Eve. Oh, I know why I cook dinner for both of us and also under the elves. Well, you know, I would just burn the 200 turkeys if I did the dinner. Yes, probably. Right then, children. Let's have another big cheer to help guide us to you. How's it going? One, two, three. Have you got that now, Humphrey? No more navigation mistakes, please. Now, let's watch another video of Shanono Choir celebrating the festive season. <laughs>
Joe, did we get it? Yeah, I got it. What is it? What an got idea, it. Humphrey. We it. can yeah. see oh, right oh, across oh. Newtown from here and we'll easily spot the children waiting. Yes, Humphrey. If you weren't already my chief elf, I might think about promoting you. Oh, look, dear. There are all the children waiting again. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> so sorry to keep you waiting. Fortunately, we have some more entertainment for you from the Planet Lois Canvas Choir. Uh, now, dear, how do we get down from here? Ah, look, there's a handy chimney. Follow me, dear.
Oh, it's nearly as old as you, dear. Oh, I doubt it. I am very old, you know. I do think you look a day as the 500. <laughs> oh, you do say the kindest thing, dear. Oh, oh. Hello again, children. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I promise we won't be long now. However, we thought we'd visit this magnificent tree while flying over the Newtown Bypass. <laughs> no presents for here, though. Yes, it's called the Prevent Oak, and we both know a song about it, do we? Not now, dear. We need to get to children. Oh, shame. Oh, let's watch another video from North Powers Youth Band and Robert Owen's Scout Group while we continue our journey. <laughs> I'm 
not sure. Do you think they should do it again, just to be sure? One, two, three! Okay, I think that has helped. We're nearly there, boys and girls. So, in the meantime, here's some more Christmas spirit from Galdadia. and see what they can do. Ah! Hello, children. <laughs> do you know where we are, hmm? Well, we're very close to the town hall now. So, with a bit of luck, we'll be there in ooh, two minutes. I hope you're all very excited. I'm really looking forward to helping to switch on the magnificent lights display. Oh, what about you, Mrs. Claus? Oh, what, what, dear? Oh, oh, yes, very excited. Sorry, children. I was wondering if I had time to visit the new swings. Oh, sorry. Uh, we don't have the time. And I think perhaps you're a little too old for playgrounds now. You're never too old. Isn't that right, mums and dads? Uh, okay. Right. Quickly now, Humphrey, or we'll be too late and miss the countdown. Cue our final festive video from Newtown Male Voice Choir. Oh, come on, dear. 
<laughs> you haven't got time for that. The children are waiting. <laughs> but it was his fault. So, anyway, uh, I'm glad to see you all here because it's been a bit of a cold night, hasn't it? Boys and girls, yes, very cold, but not quite as cold as it is up in the North Pole. And we're used to that, aren't we, dear? Yes, we are. So, I hope that you've enjoyed all the talented groups that you've seen tonight projected up onto the wall. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely fantastic. And also, I think I'd like to thank the Alliance Theatre for making it happen. Brilliant. What a brilliant group they are. Okay, now, you may have seen we've been going over the roofs of Newtown, looking at all the different chimneys to work out how I'm going to get in to deliver all those presents on Christmas Eve. And for all the houses that haven't got chimneys, I've been looking at other magical ways to get in to ensure that everybody has their presents on Christmas morning. Right, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have got a lovely new sleigh, especially for my visit to Newtown tonight. And the elves back in my workshop have been working very hard to make sure that it is ready for tonight. 
And as a special, special treat, my sleigh will be going up to Dal the Deer in Kerry for them to show all the children that want to go and visit there. So if you get the chance, please go along and you'll be able to look at my lovely sleigh close up. How about that, boys and girls? How about that? Fantastic. Right, before we have the countdown to the light spectacular, and I'm told some fireworks, I'd like to hand over to the mayor of Newtown to say a few words. Over to you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, Father Christmas. Good evening to you all and welcome to this year's kicking off Christmas event. It is great to see so many of you back in one place and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Before we get to the switch on, a few thank yous to those who made this event tonight a reality. First of all, a massive thank you to everyone at Alliance Theatre and all the groups who took part in creating the light and sound show we've watched this evening. We are delighted to be working again with Alliance Theatre who always bring the vision and creative skill to pull off fantastic events for us all to enjoy. This event wouldn't be possible without my fellow councillors and staff at the town council who have worked really hard at very short notice space of time to make sure tonight is possible. A big thank you also to the volunteers who are stewarding this evening especially on a cold and dark evening. So thank you for keeping us safe. Finally, a massive thank you to the big man himself, Father Christmas, thank you. for making time in his very busy schedule to come here and visit us in Newtown. We can't wait to see you back here on Christmas Eve in 27 days time. I'm going to be very busy, I can see that. Very busy indeed. As part of this evening, we're also hosting a Christmas market in Bear Lanes, which is selling a range of items such as cakes, candles, toys, and much more. If you haven't been already, they're open till 8 p.m., so please go and visit them after this. Finally, thank you to all of you for coming out here tonight to help us officially kick off Christmas here in Newtown and I wish you all a wonderful Christmas and an amazing new year. Back to you Santa. Thank you very much Mr Mayor. So now comes a big moment and I need all of you, all you boys and girls, mums and dads and all the grown-ups to help out here because we're going to do a special Christmas countdown. So keep your eyes on the screen. Okay. Ten, 